Hello everybody and welcome back to day 33 of the 100 days of making comics challenge. So, um, today is a pretty interesting, um, and pretty exciting for me because my first page of my comic is coming into, uh, what I imagine it to be. So, uh... Today is one half of a of me um, finalizing my first page. Um, I didn't get to finish coloring it when the uh, the day that I recorded this because, as you'll see, I completely reline the whole thing um, because. I didn't like the pen that I used. Um, I was looking at the line art and it was too clean for um, how I imagined the, the, the uh, you know, atmosphere of the comic to be. So um, I, after I was done recording day 32, like, that night, I went, um, into my, uh, drawing program, and I just, like, really looked at all of, like, the pencil tools and all of that, um, and I found one that was, like, close enough to, um, how I wanted the, uh, inking, uh, pen, like, inking, uh, texture to be, and then I, like, spent even longer really fine-tuning its settings and all of that to get the exact kind of taper and, uh, texture and fade and all of that. And I intended to record the whole thing, but very, very close in, in the beginning, I, uh, had to pause the recording to, like, fine-tune the settings because I knew it was going to take a while and I didn't want you to like, like, I didn't want there to be a big space of time in the recording where um, my pen is just moving around and you're not seeing anything. Uh, and then I forgot to press play again. So it did just skip the entire like two hours it took me to re-ink it. Um, <laughs> which I guess it's like fine because I really wanted to talk about today was the, um, colors that I was using. I, uh, last video I talked about how I didn't like the approach that I took to coloring it and I realized, um, after doing the whole process of that, wherein I colored almost the whole page in, like, black and white, um, and then, like, realized that that wasn't going to work. Um, so I just, like, went in directly with the colors, which is, you know, just more immediately satisfying because it's colors, um, and the final pages will be colors, will be colored, uh, and so I wanted to discuss, um, you know, what I learned from doing this first page, and I'm not even, like, done with it, um, but I, I guess that what I wanted to talk about is, like, really, um, testing out the, the methods and tools and such that I intend to use in the future, um, because having to re-ink this whole fucking thing, ugh, um, it wasn't, like, too bad because unlike the first time I inked it, I had, I have, when I inked it the second time, it was all figured out, I just had to follow the lines, so it was less stressful in that sense. The first time I inked it, um, I inked over, like, a really, really loose and, like, undefined sketch, and so I did have to, like, sit there and fiddle with a lot of things, um, to figure out, like, how her, f like, faces are gonna look and stuff like that. 
I didn't have to do that this time, which is fun. Um, at least not as much. I did fiddle with uh, their faces a little bit, mostly just with the eyes. Um, I was, I did like how the mother's eyes, uh, she's the one o opening the door. I did like how her eyes were in the first ink, um, and for so and but that kind of got lost in translation when I re-inked it, and so it does look different. Not bad, just different. Um, and then I did totally go in and, like, completely redo Tori's, uh, face, especially her face structure. I did change, um, how her hair looked, <laughs> uh, just in general. I kind of, like, made her face much more, um, how I, like, envision it. it I, I'm much more satisfied with how it turned out, uh, I guess is what I'm saying. And, um, yeah, so most of this, um, is me doing, like, the first panel, because it is a big chunk of the page, and it has the most detail in terms of, like, the amount of things there is to color, and I, it took me a little longer because, um, like, it took me a little longer than it maybe should have because I was a dum-dum, and I accidentally merged, like, a lot of the color layers into one, and so I had to, like, um, maneuver around them, and, um, I couldn't really just, like, when I was painting the house with the blue color around, like, the bushes in the front, the thing is, is that the bushes are all on the layer that the, the solid, like, yellow color is on, so it's not like I could even put the blue layer, like, behind the bushes, because, it, you wouldn't have seen it because the yellow would have covered it up. Um, so that was, like, just things that I did that, like, just slowed me down because I wasn't being careful enough, um, and I thought that I could just put it all on, like, one or two layers, and then quickly was like, oh, hold on, this would be go- this would go so much faster if I put it on separate layers, but then I had to um, live with my mistake of coloring a lot of it on a single layer and um, the color palette let's talk about that a little bit the color palette that I used was like originally just the two greens the yellow and the blue and then I realized and and the thing is is that I conceived of this palette with the the pink the brown the brownish red and the dark purple maroon type red um like I conceived the palette with those three colors in it as well and I don't know why what my thought process was on why I didn't include them at first I don't know but I quickly upon like using all of the colors already I was like hold on I need some kind of brown <laughs> I need, um, other colors, because four isn't really enough, uh, to do environments like the first panel, so I went into, um, the first color sketch that I did of Tori, and I picked up those three other colors that I was missing, and I was like, yes, this is much better, um, and the coloring of this was so much fun. I'm not even done with it, but just laying down the flats was really relaxing. And I guess it was just because I didn't have to, um, I didn't have to use my brain that much. Like, everything is already figured out. I just had to put the colors down, so... It was much more relaxing in the sense that, like, even, even the, um, what is it, the, uh, the values of everything was already figured out, because I did a, 
a a value sketch like um last video so it's like i didn't even really have to think about which color um i was going to use for what part of the house because i knew that the roof was going to be the darkest and the um sky was going to be like that yellow and the trees were going to be the greens and the house was going to be that blue because that's like the lightest color that isn't the mm, green or yellow um so it was all kind of already figured out for me uh so it was just you know like coloring a coloring book it's very relaxing and um yeah <laughs> This isn't going to be how the colors look in the final pass. Uh, I still have to, first off, I still have to finish the um, flat colors. I, um, I did the first three panels and I colored Tori in the last one. I don't think I colored the whole- wait, maybe I did finish the colors. Maybe I did finish the flats. I can't really remember. Um, but there is some things that I wanted to add, like in the line art doing a uh, solid um, black background behind the mom uh, when she's opening the door just to like indicate that it's inside something, you know, that there's, um, more depth. Uh, that, I think I have that kind of concept in the value, um, sketch that I did of the colors. Like, I, I had a solid black. And then I have to change the, like, actual, uh, color of the line art to a dark blue from its black. Um, and then... I intend on putting a, like, uh, purple, solid purple color behind all of the colors, and then changing the, um, layer blending mode of the, the colors to, like, a screen blending mode or something, so that the purple, like, kind of changes the colors basically to be more, uh, even more cohesive than they are. It is, um, right now, for what I intend the, uh, atmosphere of the comic to be, the colors are a little too bright and cutesy. Um, so that's just, uh, stuff that will, that you will see in the next video. Um, and I'm excited. This is fun for me. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite part, because uh, there is a lot about the comic making process that is, like, fun, um, but it is definitely up there in terms of things that I love to do, and yeah, I don't know if it's because when you get to the coloring stage, um, it's almost done, and so you're like, ooh, when I'm done with the coloring, then it'll be done, and I'll get to, like, look at it. Um, or if it's because, like, it's, uh, it's so aesthetically pleasing to take an inked page and make it colorful and make it come to life in that kind of sense. Um, maybe it's a little bit of both, but coloring and doing all of that is definitely really, really fun. And I can't wait also to do, um, a texture layer where I go in with, like, a rough, um, a rough oil brush or two and, uh, put in some textures for the woods the wood grains and just like all of that because um as much as it would be super easy just to leave all of the colors so flat i do want there to be texture 
like how I was talking in the last video when I uh, showed the concept art for the poltergeist. I talked about how I really liked the texture that I used for like the grass and the trees and just in general. Um, so that's going to be also something that I'll have to do. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to finalize the colors and all of that in the next video so that I can quickly move on to the next pages and I won't I won't have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth like I have been doing because if I've already completed the first page then all of my methods, all of my colors, all of my ways of uh, doing pages will already be um, solid. So it's just a matter of doing them instead of figuring them out, which always takes longer. Uh, yeah. Um, that is all that I have to say today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, you can subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, where I do... Twitter is more personal. Instagram is uh, where I post a lot of the finished parts of these videos and also like bonus like sketchbook um pictures and all of that uh and yeah um oh maybe i should give my handle oh. <laughs> it's at underscore monista underscore on twitter and instagram um but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video